Welcome back to part 4 of Hogwarts Legacy. We just finished defeating the trolls in Hogsmeade and exploring the town over there. So now our mission is to talk to Professor Fig as it seems like he has returned back from the Ministry of Magic. Let's go check it out. This office kind of reminds me of uh, Professor Lupin's in Prisoner of Azkaban. So let's go talk to Fig and figure it out. All right, let's go. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. All right, we got our mission for Professor Fig. Nice to have him back. And so now we got to go to Professor Hecate. So let's see if we can explore her room a little more. Looks like she has a lock on her office don't think we can get there but we got another field guy talking about the dragon that she saved a student from last time the hybridian black skeleton part of the poacher raid of 1878 let's go talk to her and see what we got to do I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. All right. So it looks like we got some missions we got to do. We got to go back to Luke and Brantley and go play another round of Cross Wands. So let's see how well we'll do. And then after that, we'll have to do.
do a spell combination practice with Luke and Brownlee himself. So let's go skip ahead to the tower and we'll see you there. I think so. We shall see who shows up. Let's do the next round of cross wands first. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Looks like it's gonna be two on three first, so that's gonna be interesting. And looks like we got new set of magic spells we know that can break the shield, so let's continue on. Let's get it, Axel. Let's get it, Sebastian. Let's take these students down. Alright, so we gotta wait for Accio to recharge. But the combat system is pretty nice to get a grasp on. Really a smart idea from the developers to incorporate this type of mechanic into the game. And we got one in the air with Levioso. And we got Accio all charged up, so let's take down Constant Dagworth. And we can also get the other player as well because they had a yellow shield so we could use Levioso on them. But Sebastian and I make a good team, and we're making quick work of these students to get this victory. Let's get this dub. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Looks like we finished the first part of Professor Heckett's assignments. And actually, the second part of our assignments has to do with talking to Lucan, the person that organizes this. And we gotta Lucan. unlock some spell yeah, sets with him. Dummy. Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Alright, let's practice this combination on this dummy. So it looks like we gotta do Accio and then four basic casts in a row. Pretty simple combination. I like it. I like it. Looks like we're not done though, so we'll just use Levioso and do the same exact thing. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Looks like we got another round. We got Levioso, three basic casts, and Accio. And then, ooh, I messed that up. Dang. Okay. Looks like we got to do it again. All right. Focus, my guy. Focus, my guy. Levioso, three basic casts, Accio, and four basic casts. Oh man, I can't believe I made a mistake over this combination. That's I'd embarrassing. That's practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. That was simple enough. Glad we got it done, though. Glad we got it done. So, we finished all the quests that Professor Hecate asked us to do before she can teach us the spell. So, we'll just skip ahead, head towards her classroom, and talk to her. Alright, we'll see you soon. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. 
I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. All right, let's learn a new spell. Incendio looks like a fire type spell and looks like a triangle, but easy enough to cast and we'll move our cursor and there we go. I really like the little mini games they have for us to learn new spells. I find that really fun. All right, looks like we can only have four spells at one time as we can see on the bottom right corner. So let's, let's put the new spell we learned. But which one should we replace it with? I'm thinking we can replace Lumos for now. I don't think we'll have much use for it in the immediate future. So thanks to Professor Hecate and we know more spells. That is nice. Let's practice Incendio a little bit in the classroom. Just check it out a little bit. Ah, uh, there we go. We got the practice target right there. Just cast it a little bit. Got some basic casts. And let's move on. And let's go talk to Professor Fig. Alright, we'll meet you at Professor Fig's classroom. I think Professor Fig's probably my favorite character so far. Because he's kind of like our hands-on mentor, yeah. Just checking us out and helping us out every step by step so ah, let's are. confirm with him and let's figure out what that locket meant hello sir you'll be pleased to know that i worked on my defensive magic with professor hackett so i hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand you must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills that said i don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer so, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Man, I love Simon Pegg. He's such a great voice actor and such a funny comedian, but... Man, this Professor Black guy just seems to be a little thorn in the side. No wonder he's one of the most disregarded Hogwarts masters ever. So let's go find Sebastian real quick and let's head towards the library. Let's go to the restricted section. That should always be fun. Sebastian's a pretty cool character too though. Um, one of the nicer Slytherins I think we've met. Way different from Draco Malfoy in the original series even though... We like him. We like him, though. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, 
avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Looks like this is the part of the game where we gotta be a little stealthy. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I never realized that, besides the invisibility cloak that Harry had, that you can cast a disillusionment charm. That's a first. I, n I never knew that, but that'll come quite in handy in this game, I'm sure. All right, let's sneak our way through all of these prefects. Helps us being detected in off-limit areas. And I see another paper flying about, so. I wonder if we cast Accio on it, if the prefect right over there will see us or not, so. Gotta be a little stealthy down the stairs and avoid the indicators that make them see us, so. Let's hope we don't get that animation right there. Let's just safely, calmly avoid detection and get what we need to get in the library and from the restricted section. But castle's all nice and quiet now. And we got two prefects right in front of the door. So just like most every other game out there, we got to wait for them to separate. And I wonder if we can just go right through the door without being detected if we just go right now kind of curious to see but i really like to admire this statue because it's super cool there we go we got the separation and i wonder if that guy on the left will detect us at all but his back's turned to us so let's let's book it let's book it let's go right through surprised they didn't hear that door opening but we'll take it we'll take it any way we can get into the library we'll take it Alrighty. Oh, and there we go. There's our favorite librarian who wants to ban all magic. Alright, let's get to our checkpoint right next to us. I don't think she saw us, so I think we're in the clear. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Homora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. All right, let's go get this key. Looks like the librarian's distracted, so... Looks like we can just easily waltz into her desk and grab the key to the restricted section. There we go. It's just like the Philosopher's Stone, Sorcerer's Stone. Is someone there? We're gonna get the books that we need in the restricted section and get to where we need to go. And why did she go this way? I wonder. Well, that's okay. I'm not sure if I'm being smart about the way I'm moving about, but just going to the right. 
going back, so let's try book it as fast as we can, make it through, and let's go meet Sebastian at the door. Let's that get it. So difficult after all. How to find that book? All right, here we go. We're in the restricted section. We're somewhere we're not supposed to be. Alrighty. Oh, I thought the restricted section was just that little corner, but I didn't realize there was more to it and stuff downstairs. Let's venture on. Still got long, long ways to go. Got L2 and R2 to lure unsuspecting victims. Okay, so we got a basic cast, basically. And oh, great. Got a little ghost. I can probably sense us and see us. Got Sebastian right behind. Just admiring some of the armor you got there. So let's use the basic cast and let's try move this ghost around so we can get through. And I was trying to aim for the wall on the side, but looks like I just hit the railing and she's not moving. So try hit that wall. There we go. She sensed that, so... We can get through. We can get through. Nice, nice. Should be in the clear now. No need for us to disguise ourselves. All right, there we go. So what it's is crazy it to for? think about how expansive this restricted section is, because so I truly thought it was just that first floor, just but knowing that there's this much, who Why knows how much dark magic or section? how many Does flying books sure you got down here. There's a whole library in and of itself just down here. Looks like we got a chest. So let's let's open it up. Okay, so one of those eyeball ones. So I guess those you can get if they can't see you. And that one gave us 500 coins, so... I guess we'll have to find more of those when we go around further into this game. We're heading more towards the dungeon area now. Little closet area to supply some of the excess stuff in the library. Got a new orbicular gold. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Ah, uh, good old Beebs right there. Ready to snitch on Repairer. you. All right, now that we got that armor out of our way, let's cast our disillusionment spell and let's venture on further into this restricted section. Now we got to find that secret. Ooh, I'm so excited. So excited. Well, you know what? The secret is that there's a whole nother room. Couple floors of room of under the magic. library that's something new i learned there must be more to this room. there we go let's investigate this that's, that's kind of a trippy experience we had there but let's go through this gate and see what secrets reside it says enter the aetherneum so we'll go towards there Figure out the secrets of Hogwarts. Let's check it out. Oh man, this is such a cool area to be discovered. Now we got a big chest. Okay, what treasure we got? Got a gray Voyager garb. 
That is nice. That is nice. Let's enter and see what's up. And we're in. All right. Looks like we got to make this gap over here. So I don't think we got anything to cross. So let's just take a look around. Nothing down there. Nothing to the right. Uh, I think I saw something in the middle. I think we got to hit it. So let's, let's turn the switch on. Okay, Accio doesn't work. Let's see what will. Looks like I just had to hit it with a basic cast and... It would showcase the path forward. That was a little confusing at first, because you would think that it'd be some of the spells that you learned, right? But oh, here we go. Looks like we're we're here for some Not trouble. Got some ready. suits of armor right here. Hit him with some ancient magic. One hit KO right there. Boom. Let's get the other guy with that. Just like that, we're moving forward, it looks like. Awesome, awesome. Looks like we're not done yet, though. Looks like there's two more. One on each side. The game was like, you thought this was gonna be easy? Psych. Nah, but looks like we're making quick work of these sentries. And there we go. We did it, we did it. New ability, though. Looks like we got ancient magic so 10 hit combos will activate ancient magic power-ups that is good to know that is good to know that'll come in handy for sure all right let's continue forward so with the guards in place it looks like it's guarding something so we might find treasure but most importantly answers to questions that professor fig and i have about the locket that we found so Let's take out these sentinels, Accio real quick, get them in the air, and let's take out this guy on the right. But so far the gameplay mechanics have been great, and truly feels like I'm experiencing Hogwarts at its fullest, so let's see how to get to the other side. It looks like it's another one of those hit the thing in the middle, but... I want to try see if we can get that chest to the left of us, but I'm not sure how that's going to work, so we'll just leave it be and do what we do know, and let's move on, and let's hit that rune over there, and let's create a pathway for us forward, hit it with the basic cast, make it win, and reveal the path. It looks like we might have to make a little jump potentially. Yeah, looks like it. So, mind the gap real quick. And oh man, that's so weird. That didn't work, so I guess I gotta get the timing right. All these platforms move, so I guess as soon as I cast the spell, gotta go for it, gotta go for it. And we get it, we get it. Great execution right there. And this is cool. Let's move our way forward. To Looks like we got the same puzzle forward. Gotta hit that rune up top. And it'll reveal a path for us, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's as easy as that. And there we go. We got some moving forward. But it reverted back, so... Alright, it's a little trickier than I thought. A little trickier than I thought. But... We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We got enough space. And there we go, it revealed itself. Nothing to the left over there. And oh man, I have a bad feeling about this. You see all those statues in front of us? I see three on each side and two up top, so eight total guys we gotta take care of, but two down, six to go. So far, I really like the opponent type that we've had to face so far. And I'm curious to see what type of other ones we get to battle up against. And that one went up high. Oh my goodness. Gotcha. So that's a slam attack. So just got to be cautiously aware of that. But it seems like if we get these opponents in the air, we can do more damage to them. And then the spells that we learn 
such as Accio and the Incendio Fire one. Seems to do more damage, but gotta wait till it recharges, so that's something to be cautiously aware about. And Ancient Magic looks to be and inflict a lot of damage, and ooh, I did not avoid that air attack that the sentry had, so gotta be cautious about that. We got dodge roll right there, and we got our Protego shield, so knocked him out, and we put him over the ledge, so we'll continue on. And there we go. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year, I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. S 
Mating in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> oh man, Beeb's trying to get us in trouble. Well, there we go. We completed this quest. And Sebastian truly did us a solid. So, I'm really starting to like that character. And if we get to do more duels, you know, I want him to be my partner. Seems like a guy that'll take one for the team, you know, so I can really appreciate that. Looks like we got another mission and we got to return to Professor Fig's classroom and let him know the news. So we'll skip ahead and we'll see you at his classroom. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful that may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. We are one step closer to understanding this type of magic that our character is inclined to see. And we learn that Sebastian's a nice fella and Peeves is very mischievous. We'll check out this new mission real quick, just read what it's about. It's time to 
of your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of Cross Ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Alright, so that was a very entertaining episode. Very entertaining level. Appreciate the support. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. We'll see you in the next one. And take care.